I guess he didn't get stunned. You got all those arms and you're gonna kick me in the face. Seems a bit strange. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, yes, suck it. There we go. Are you alright, little girl? That was fun. <laughs> go again. Oh, Sally, you're interesting. She's fine. I didn't see the lady. Or I didn't see Lady Vale slip away, but I guess she's fine too. Mayor, did anyone else get hurt? Nobody was hurt, thanks to you two. Well, almost nobody. When the monster fell, it fell on top of Harvey, the tailless donkey. Everyone else is fine. <laughs> Speak to me, Harvey. The party won't be the same without you. <laughs> I was waiting until after the celebration to tell you both this, but now seems as good a time as ever. Question marks. I know that you're trying to get to the, down to the, into the necropolis, and I think I know how you can do it. Listen carefully. Well, that was a close one, but the party can really start. It looks like Lady Vale and Ardix might have some history. Maybe you can ask him about that later. Right now, the key to necropolis awaits. Uh, Cinch of Balance. I guess we'll keep it for now. And for whatever reason, the game takes Artix out of the party after every quest from here on out. Alright, the outcast. The bear gave me directions to the house of one of Doomwood's necromancers. I guess he's a bit of an outcast. I don't like dealing with necromancers, but this might be the chance to get inside Necropolis. Our only chance, that is. <laughs> and so, try to guess who the necromancer is. I'll give you a cookie if you do. I feel like that should do double damage to the eyeball since that was in fact a blinding light. I like the moon and its little face there. It wasn't even that far of a uh, walk to the house. I see that's decently paced. Boom. I am really pleased that suddenly Arctic uh, scales to me and has more moves now. That is dandy. In all honesty. <laughs> if you guessed Zorbak, I owe you a cookie. Not really. I actually don't have any cookies. I'm sorry to have deceived you. And that concludes this week's Ask Zorbak. Thanks for your stupid question. Meh. <laughs> that is not polite, Zorbak. <laughs> I like how Ardex just walks in, doesn't know what the context of this conversation he's having is and immediately scolds him like a disappointed parent. Gah, don't you people know how to knock? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Indeed, we need your help. Forget how to tie your shoes again, Paladin? 
Meh. You don't even have shoelaces. Look at that. They're just straight plate armor boots. Actually, we heard from the mayor of Moonridge that you might have a way to get us into the necropolis. Why would you care about that place? There are a bunch of losers there. I have a better idea. How about we get some crossbows and make this paladin holy? <laughs> oh, I approve, well, of the wordplay. Shooting Ardex does not seem like a, a great idea. Why are you trying to pal up to me anyway? That's a little weird, isn't it? Enough jokes, Zorbeck. Meh, who's joking? We really need your help to get inside the necropolis. Do you have some kind of key we can use? I do still have my ID to the Necro University, but why bother with those Necro losers? If you want to face the unstoppable creation of a true necromancer, prepare yourself. I call forth my latest and greatest creation. Shelaton. Oh. Oh, that's great. Really? What do you mean, really? He is a masterpiece. Zorbeck? It's just a turtle with a skull on its back. Silence. Do not let your fear overcome you. Meh. Okay. Let it overcome you a little. Tremble with fear at the sight of my terrifying shelatan. But I can still see the glue. That's just pure raw evil <laughs> leaking out. <laughs> oh, man. It isn't even undead. Enough of this. Face your doom. Shelatan attack. This is fantastic. Zorbak, don't you have a haste spell or something? We've really got things to do. Meh, hold on a second. Let's see here. Anti-acid medication. Detect visibility. That sounds really useful. Belly zipper, easy to install. Whoa, saving that one for later. Here we go, got it. <laughs> Oops. That says grow fast, not go fast. Oh well. Close enough. Destroy these fools, my pet. What are you waiting for? Uh-oh. He's gonna see Zorbak as food, isn't he? Yep. Why, wait, why, why are you looking at me? Uh-oh. What are you noobs waiting for? Save me. Start being heroes. I have a better idea, Zorbak. I'll give you a hand if you give me your idea to the necropolis. Meh, deal. Necromancer University, student ID card, Zorbeck. ID number 443-55-6. Status expelled. Alright, let's heal and fight this uh, turtle. Nine turns left until doom. Oh, it looks like I didn't stun him either. That's alright. We'll block. Uh, hit him with that slash attacks or er, slash attack Ardix. Ow. Uh, bam. Oh, one left to go. Gotcha. Alright. There, now we're even. Get out. <laughs> Expelled. Yeah, they kicked me out. Those losers have no idea what real darkness magic is. They were scared of my unstoppable power. <laughs> but I will show them. Meh meh. I will show all of them. Meh heh 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 heh. Uh, Alright, Ardix, we have a way inside of the necropolis. This is where our quest truly begins, my friend. Who knows what horrors await us at the depths of the necropolis? You might be able to get into the necropolis, even. Oh, whoops, I skipped to the very end of that paragraph. Now that you have Zorbak's student ID, even though it looks nothing like you, and it's, it's expired, and he was expelled, you may be able to get into the necropolis. 
All right, Ring of Avoidance. We can wear that. We'll keep it. And put it on. Nice. All right. The Gatekeeper. Oh, this one cracks me up. Now that Zorbak gave us his student ID card, the gates of the necropolis are opening for us. We have to get down there, past our guards, and see if we can figure out what the necromancers are planning. I still can't believe we're going to try to get into the necropolis with Zorbak's student ID card. Oh, I forgot to heal and add Erdix to my party. What is there to worry about? Well, it's expired, for starters. And he was apparently expelled. And it has a picture of a blue moglin on it. No problem at all, my friend. We can justify all the plot holes and bugs in this game. Oh, the same way we justify all the plot holes and bugs in this game. How do we do that? Magic! <laughs> uh, he doesn't seem too convinced. There is one problem I have not been able to figure out yet, though. There are two of us, but we only have one student ID card. Well, do you want to wait outside? That is a joke, right? Hmm, I have an idea. You know a lot about the undead, right? Just follow my lead. Must resist <laughs> urge to vanquish evil. Halt who dares enter the necropolis. Tis I, Erm. Zorbak, the greatest necromancer in the land. And my well-armored undead minion, Artix. Nudge. Hmm. Oh, oh, uh, R. You. Um, brains? <laughs> Let me see your student ID card. Sure, here you go. You do not look like your picture, Zorbak. Yeah, that's because of, you know, magic. Whoops. Oh, well, yes, that's understandable. <laughs> I love this quest. Wait, it says this ID... Or, wait. This student ID card says that you've been expelled. Magic. Hmm, yes, that would explain it. But this card is also expired. Magic. Ah, yes, that happens all the time. Okay, you may enter the necropolis... Er, uh, you may enter. Welcome to the necropolis, Zorbak. It worked. Thank you. Let's go, my undead minion. Certainly. Let's let us just walk past these undead monsters without attacking them even a little bit. Artix, are you all right? Yeah, I just just need to 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 rid the world of these servants of evil. <laughs> Attack. Hmm. All right. So 140 defense points here. Ow. I love that cutscene, by the way. It is one of my favorite lamp shadings of using magic to explain away everything. Um, please unstick. Ow. 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 Really? Get out of here, iTunes update. I don't care. Sorry, I got distracted while they were taking their turn. Ow. 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 All right, let's hit him with wild daggers. Oh, that missed. Of course I got stuck again. Go figure. There we go. Okay, we need to do something about taking full damage now. 
Uh, can't stealth. That's unfortunate. Um, we'll do this and hopefully I'll be able to kill the other hench skeleton a little quicker. Uh, yeah. Not as quick as I would like, but you know. Ow. 66. I might be able to pull this off if I can, uh, if I kill him now. Oh no. Okay, uh, heal please. Ow. Ow. Uh, smoke. We'll just use the smoke. Okay, I was real worried that I was going to take full damage from both of them there. Alright. Looking alright. <clears throat> got him, got him. Now we just need to uh, not die at the hands of the gatekeeper. It's mobilized. That's good. Um, we're gonna do that. All right, he missed. That's a good sign. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we need to, uh, we're gonna go a little bit more variables, that's weird. We're going to um, one second, please. We're just gonna make sure we take Artix with us in the in the uh, quest this time. That'll make things easier. Whoops, I have to talk to him. All right. Let's get through all of this. need to rid the world of these servants of evil. I wish there was a pan over to the uh, hero face palming. Let's start with smoke. Uh, he's gonna hit them with light of justice because it's probably the best way to do things. We're gonna hit them with this and probably get our third strike stuck again, because of course. Unstick, thank you. Uh, we'll just use the regular attack to take him out. Ow. Kill Shakespeare here. Miss. Wild daggers again. Alright, hit him with the super holy combo. Yeah. There you go. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, that was much easier. Well, that was close. Yes, it was. I'm very sorry. I just could not help myself. That's okay. I knew we were in for a battle. I just didn't think it would be so soon. I hear a lot of movement below. Perhaps something else is going on. Oh, that is a lot of undead. Hmm. I wonder what would be a good song to put over this, like as far as the soundtrack goes with the dramatic pan, because if this was a current quest, it would have like some kind of music to go with it, almost no doubt. This guy's design is pretty cool though. Look at all the skeletons he's got on him. Look at the skulls with their little headdresses and spikes. Nice. The army is almost complete. The world shall be wrapped in the, the eternal embrace of darkness. Hear me, denizens of the necropolis. I applaud your skill and effort, but we have little time left to complete our most grand project. An army of 100 million undead unlike anything the world has ever seen before. Otto. I expect every necromancer in the necropolis to redouble their efforts. Especially you, necromantress. As you desire, master. Why is she the only one? Okay. So, are there no other female necromancers? Just as long as you hold up your end of the bargain and return my brother to me. Look at them, thousands of loyal soldiers for sepulture. Your skill continues to impress me. However, as my top student, your recent defeat at Moonridge is quite unsettling. I expect you to redeem yourself by making an example of those two meddling heroes with your latest creations. Now, my student, all my students, back to work. Sepulcher's Flying Castle will be here soon, and Sepulcher expects an army almost twice this size. Sepulcher is raising an army of a million, a hundred million undead. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We jump down there and take down 50 million undead each? Whoa. You were thinking what I was thinking. Dude, they are in sync. 